Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video today, we're gonna to be testing all my solar panels. So I have all of these laid out. We're gonna see which one gets us the most power in the late summer. Uh, you know, we're not gonna see amazing results because it's kind of later in the year. And we also have a little bit of wildfire smoke from California, so super annoying. But uh, most of the sky is gonna be really clear. What we have lined up is the SunPower Flex 50. These are two waterproof flexible panels. We have the Rock Pals RP082, 100 watt panel. We have the Rock Pals SP003, 100 watt panel. We have two 120 watt folding solar panels. These are Elicanta 120 watt panels. We have two Nupawa 60s in parallel. These are folding really lightweight panels. On top of that, I have my Grape Solar 50 watt uh, monocrystalline rigid panel. So my first glass panel I ever bought. I haven't done much video on it, but it's actually what we're gonna to test today. And then down here, I have my Blue Eddy SP200 200 watt folding solar panel. This is my most expensive panel. Let's see how it performs today. Okay, so my setup consists of this Blue Sky MPPT solar charge controller, and I'm charging my DIY 80 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And on that battery, I have my inverter plugged in charging my EB55. It's using the AC adapter and it's pulling 200 watts now the purpose of that 200 watt load is to keep the battery voltage down to keep it in bulk charging mode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start with the SunPower Flex 50s. I have two of them in parallel and we're just gonna plug them straight in and see what we get. Okay, so on those two SunPower cells in parallel, we're seeing around 75 to 80 watts. They usually put out around 95 watts. So this gives us a good idea of what we'll see in all of our solar results today. Now with that wildfire haze smoke, we are gonna see a little bit of decrease on efficiency. Let's go ahead and test some other panels. Rock Pals RP082. So we'll go ahead and take that wire and plug it in here. Okay, so we're seeing 69 to 70 watts on the Rock Pals RP082. Let's move on to the next solar panel. Okay, so the next panel that we're gonna test is the Rock Pals SP003. This is also a 100 watt folding solar panel. Let's go ahead and plug this in and see what we get. Okay, we're getting 75, 74 watts on the Rock Pals SP003. Uh, getting a little bit more efficiency out of this panel and that's pretty normal. I did see that in my other testing videos, so the older panel is actually more efficient. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next panel. Let's go ahead and see how the number one Elicanta goes. So this would be 120 watts. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay guys, we're getting 91 watts to 90 watts. Definitely seeing more power on these panels. They are rated at 120 watts, so we're gonna see more power input. Uh, really good results. I, uh, I'm pretty happy with that, especially for what we've been seeing throughout the day. 94 watts max. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in Elicanta number two and see how it does. Sometimes there's differences between uh, the manufacturing process on both panels. So let's see if they're both as good or if we see less power in one of them. Okay, so we're getting right around 84 watts, 85 watts. I did see 87, so a little bit less efficient than the other 120 watt folding solar panel, but that's a little expected. Uh, sometimes you don't get exact efficiency, you know, matching in each panel. Let's go ahead and test a few other solar panels while I have all this stuff out. Oh man, did I tell you guys it was hot today? Near 100 degrees and I am sweating. This is a ton of work. Uh, to pull out all these panels and test them. So give me a thumbs up guys if you like the content. Um, so next panels to test are these new power 60 watt panels. I put them in parallel. Let's go ahead and see what we're getting on these. Okay, so we're getting around 74 watts, uh, a little bit under that. Um, so these basically perform just like a 100 watt folding solar panel would. They don't really put out 120 watts. And uh, the benefit to these are they're very, very lightweight. Um, very easy to carry around. So let's go ahead and test another solar panel. Okay, guys, I have two panels left. This is my Blue Eddy SP200. This should put out the most power out of all the panels today. So we'll see. Let's go ahead and plug this in and see what we get. Okay, so we're getting about 103 watts in on the Blue Eddy. So definitely the most power out of all the panels here. I just thought I'd expect to see a little bit more. The max power I've seen out of this panel is 168 watts. So we're definitely not getting that today. Maybe have some sort of short in this, uh, or maybe a wire is disconnected. Not exactly sure. Should be seeing more power than this. Okay, guys, the last panel we're going to test is this Grape Solar 50 watt uh, rigid panel. So I've had this panel the longest. This is the first panel I ever bought. Let's go ahead and see what type of numbers we're getting on this panel. Okay, so we're seeing around 41 to 40 watts on this 50 watt uh, rigid panel. So pretty good results with the uh, you know smoky conditions that we have today.
Now overall, you know, what did I think? Um, if you're looking for a really lightweight waterproof panel, I definitely recommend these SunPower uh, Flex 50s. They're excellent, they're lightweight, and they're, they're pretty affordable. Now these two Rock Pals, they have a ton of adapters for most power stations. So if you're looking for that, pick up one of these. This one has MC4 connections default. So if you're, you want MC4 connections, the Rock Pals SP003 will be your option. Now we saw the most output out of these two 120 watt folding solar panels from Elikanta. They have good adapters. You can basically use either of these on any power station on the market and even with EcoFlow with one adapter. So excellent option, very affordable, would recommend those for sure. Uh, another lightweight option would be these new power 60 watt uh, folding solar panels. They didn't provide a ton of power output, but they are very lightweight. So very small, very lightweight uh, option there. Um, now, if you're sticking with something that you'll want waterproof outdoors 100% of the time, I don't recommend using folding solar panels all the time outside. It's kind of like a camping or emergency type of thing. You put them out and you pull them in because you'll see some fading and some damage to them over a long period of time if they sit out. But if you want to sit out forever, use a rigid panel. Uh, they're glass, they're tempered glass, and they can sit out all the time. So I may be uh, putting some rigid panels up on my shed roof. We'll see. Throw a comment down below if you uh, you want to see that in the future. And my Blue Eddy SP200. Man, I was getting some weird results with that today. I might have to do some testing on that in the future. I usually got way more power. Maybe I have something wrong. That's my most expensive panel. And I'm not getting crazy output with it. Anyway, guys, these are all my solar panels. If you have any questions about any of them, throw a comment down below. Make sure you guys subscribe for future content, and we'll see you guys in the next video.